Hey guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today we're going to be working with the Color Fantasy workflow and this tutorial is all about cool and warm colors and so we're going to go into cool and warm tones. We're going to talk about identifying cool and warm tones in your photographs and how to kind of enhance those tones for uh, added effect. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, I can pull up this little chart right here. So your warmer colors are your reds, oranges, yellows, and then the cooler colors are our blue, greens, and purples. And we're going to kind of talk about how those colors complement certain things or complement other colors. So I have a photograph right here, and this photograph, as you might be able to tell, is a cooler toned photograph. There's a lot of blue and gray in there, not too much warmth besides her skin and a little bit on this building right here. So I'm gonna go ahead into the presets for the color fantasy workflow and I'm just gonna start to enhance this and what I wanna do with this photograph is really bring out those cool tones and just enhance it overall. So the first one I'm gonna start with in this is I'm gonna start with an all-in-one preset and I'm for this one I'm going with light contrast and color. So that already, as you can see, has brought out the blues in her shirt, but it's also kind of, you know, brought out the warmer tones in her skin color. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my base presets, and for this one I'm going to be using the dreamy one, which is just going to add a softer feel to the photograph. And then I'm going to go to the color presets and I'm going to go ahead and use the blue burst because I'm trying to enhance the cool colors in here. So now that I've applied these presets, what I want to do is I want to go into, so I'm going to go into my tabs over here and I'm going to open my colors tab and I'm going to manually kind of manipulate the colors. So because I want a more cooler tone picture, I really want to take the warm tones out of this. So I'm going to go to my red, orange, and yellow and play with the sliders a little bit to kind of change that. So I'm going to turn the red down quite a bit to really kind of get rid of this red that's in the background here. And the orange I'm going to turn down, the orange I'm turning down, but I don't want to turn it down entirely too much because then we're losing all the color and pigment in her skin, which makes her look weird. So we're just turning it down a little bit. And the same with the yellow is going to be just a little bit as well. So now I'm heading back into my presets and I'm going to add a vignette preset to this. And for this one I'm going with the strong black vignette. Just to really add contrast and kind of focus the light on the center here on the subject. Alright, so I'm going to show you the before and after. So the before photo did have a lot of the cooler tones, but we just went in there and really kind of enhanced them. And I'm going to bring up the little color wheel again and show you. So complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So she's wearing both a denim shirt and denim shorts, which are in blue, and her skin is a more obviously kind of warmer tone. So what we've done here is we've used the cooler tones to really kind of enhance her skin and we have a nice complementary combination going over here of the warmer skin tone with the cooler colors in the shirt and then we just have kind of the cooler colors in the background as well. So here's the before and the after. So we've just kind of refocused the tone and light onto the subject. All right, so I'm going to move on to my next photograph now. So this photograph, as you might be able to tell, has kind of more of a warmer tone to it. We've got the kind of tan yellows in the grass here and these kind of pinkish magenta tones in here. So we're going to go ahead and enhance the warm tones in this photograph. Now, you don't always have to follow what the photograph already has. So if the photograph already has a warmer tone, you don't really have to follow that. You can go ahead and add a cooler preset over that and change it. It's entirely up to you. And it also depends on the photograph and how you want it to look. So for this one, I'm going to start back in the all-in-one presets again. And I'm using the Retro Vibe preset, which is just going to bring a little bit of a 
matte effect and light to the photograph. So then I'm going to my base presets and I'm going to add splash. So what I want to do is bring out the kind of magenta tones in this photograph. I think they're really pretty and you know that they should stand out. So we're going to go to the color magenta burst. And what I'm going to do now is I want to add a vignette to this photograph. If you guys couldn't tell before, I really like vignettes. They kind of add a lot of contrast and really bring, you know, the subject forward, especially in portraits. They don't lend themselves to every photograph, but in this photograph, I think it will work out fine. So the vignette I'm actually going to use on this is this vignette brown black. And what's happening here is the brown vignette is coming from the masks that are applied to the photograph. And the black here is coming from our effects and our highlight priority. So this is a little too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the highlight priority and turn that all the way kind of up. And then the masks I'm going to leave on there. So I get the brown effect still, but I've gotten rid of most of the black here. Now, if you want to move your masks around, you can totally go ahead and do that. So if I put the little cursor over here, you can see exactly where it's lighting stuff up. So I do kind of want to move the mask a little bit. So I'm going to move it back a little bit and I'm going to rotate it as well. And same with this one, I'm kind of rotating it, pulling it forward a bit. This one I'm going to push back a little bit. And this one I'm just going to rotate a tiny bit. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my color brushes. So we're going to go in here, click new. I'm going to go down my color fantasy brushes and I'm going to be using the brush warmer. And basically I'm just going to use this brush to get a kind of subtle warmer tone down here in the grass. Just where it's kind of light here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the saturation up on that. So I'm going to hit new and I'm going back to my brushes. And the last brush I'm going to use is the color desaturate. And I'm just going to use that brush just a little bit up here just to kind of take the blues out of here. All right, so what we end up with is a more warm tone photograph. And we've just kind of done the same thing we did with the last photograph. We've brought in a lot of light to the center, a lot of color, and just really kind of enhanced it and polished it off. So here's the before, the after. And for some people, this photograph might be a little too dark around the edges, especially. So you can even go into your tabs and, you know, manipulate the presets a little bit to by turning the exposure up a tiny bit and the highlights as well. So, you know, maybe this brighter picture might work better for you. All right, so we're going to go into a third photograph now. So I've got this third photograph, which really kind of is a mix of colors here. We do have the warm red color in the steps, and then we have this nice green cooler colors around the side. So in this case, you could really go either way, but I think for this photograph, I'm going to go with a kind of warmer tone for it because I think it lends itself to the photograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my base first, my base presets, and I'm using the auto tone just to really bring light back into the photograph. And then I'm going to go to exposure, darken shadows to add some contrast. I'm going to layer on top of those two a polish sharpen. And now what I'm going to do on this little girl is I'm going to go ahead and open my brushes again and I'm looking for the Color Fantasy Brighten brush, which is right here. And I'm just going to run that over her a little bit just to add a little bit of light. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the contrast up on that as well. And turn the shadows down a little bit. Actually, I'm going to also turn the saturation up a little bit. 
And instead of turning the exposure up, I'm actually going to move it down just a little bit. All right, so that was a pretty quick edit. That's all I'm going to do to this photograph. I think that the color in this photograph is really nice the way it is. It doesn't need much enhancement, but all we did was apply three presets and a brush, and we've really changed it. So here's the before and after. So before it was a little bit dark and underexposed, the colors weren't as bright and it was just kind of washed out. And we've just really added light and color back into the photograph. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on warm and cool colors. And hopefully you'll be able to try it out for yourself soon.